here from johnnylipsonstudios.co.uk and I'd like to welcome you to a brand new studio tour. It's been probably a couple of years since I've done one and in that time a lot has changed. So um, why don't I flip the camera around and you can take a look. Enjoy! Okay, so here we are. Come on in. Welcome to the studio. Uh, let me give you a quick whirlwind uh, tour of the studio there you go hey done no only kidding okay take a look here this is the Yamaha QS 300 which is about 20 years old I got that when I was a student uh, it serves as a MIDI controller these days but uh, I didn't have a studio at the time when I bought it because I was living in student accommodation uh, and it served me well for songwriting and coming up with demos and that kind of thing Underneath on that is the Clavier Nord Stage 88 and this does all my um, piano, electric piano, Hammond organ, uh, synth, various analogy type synth sounds all get done on this wonderful machine. Okay, moving around. Uh, this is kind of instrument corner really is what I would call this. So on the top here, uh, right there, that in the little red zipper bag, that is a clarophone. If you don't know what a clarophone is, it's kind of a cross between a clarinet and a saxophone. Uh, and it makes a beautiful sound, I love it. It's a bit, the uh, fingering is a little bit weird, but uh, it's great anyway. Underneath that is a buffet clarinet, which I picked up really cheaply, um, and I have a good blow on that uh, occasionally. Underneath that is my wife's alto sax, which uh, comes out of his case and has a uh, we get to have a wee blow on it occasionally too. Uh, in the guitar case there is my Ibanez AGR70 semi hollow body jazz guitar which is great fun to play. It's, it's kind of cased up because really there's just not a lot of room in here for having instruments out all the time. But there you have it. Uh, moving around, this is where all the action happens. This is the main command center. So for monitoring, we have these babies here. These are the KRK Rocket Power 5's second generation monitors. Uh, for me, they're perfect for this room. And uh, there's the other one. Uh, they are really accurate and uh, they're perfect for this size room. They're not too big, not too small uh, in terms of the sound that comes out. Uh, okay, so moving on to probably the biggest change for me, which is the DAW, the digital audio workstation that I'm using now. Uh, for probably about 20 years, maybe a little bit over 20 years, I used Steinberg uh, products from sort of like the late, mid to late 80s onwards, um, uh, and pretty much every incarnation of Cubase that there has ever been, I used for many years. Uh, and then just recently I switched to Presonus Studio One, uh, and I love it. It's a breath of fresh air. Um, I can record, mix and master and release my work to SoundCloud or somewhere else um, without ever actually leaving Studio One, which I think is amazing. Uh, I don't think there's any other DAW that, that you can do that in. Everything's all integrated together. Uh, it's terrific. So moving on down the line, the computer is not powered by that bottle of Sprite, but it is powered by this machine in the corner. This is my new computer. Uh, it replaces one that we had up in for about three years, four years, um, which kind of slowly started dying a death, became a bit senile. So we replaced it with this. This is the 3XS uh, custom system. Um, 
and it has uh, an Intel i5 with uh, two one terabyte hard drives and just up there on the shelf there is a two terabit Western digital hard drive so I have lots of hard drive space for sample libraries and such such like so that works really well and then underneath here we have an H base amp uh, this is kind of my practice base amp but it does go out on shows every now and then as well when I need a smaller rig this is the one I use uh, and it packs a lot of punch for the little size that it is uh, look at my receipt boxes what fun uh, moving on to next bit of kit this is my Behringer C1 mic um, some people have uh, mixed reviews on this but I actually really quite like it um, makes a nice sound for me um, I like the tone that I get out of it so for me it's great it's reasonably priced uh, it's the only mic that I have other than the, um, a very old beat up SM58 um, which I have in a uh, in uh, a drawer at the moment because I don't really need it just now uh, next piece of kit this is my vintage icon series fretless bass uh, it's a fretless jazz bass built to look like Jaco Pastorius's bass um, and I love it it sounds pretty awesome to be honest um, so that's that love it beautiful I mean you, you probably think fretless he's lying I can see the frets from here well they're not frets at all if I go a little bit closer they're just lines uh, just to make sure I get my fingers in the right position uh, but I don't really use them to be honest my fingers pretty much go where they need to go by themselves now which is great uh, moving on to these at the back well the case in the front there is the case for the uh, the fretless and behind that in its bag is a Fender Squire um, fretted jazz bass uh, which is great fun to play it's good for slapping on um, but these things are bagged up at the moment mostly because they go out pretty regularly uh, for shows or off-site recording or uh, for playing at church um, mostly I play fretless bass at church these days uh, but it's great fun and as you can see tucked away in the corner there there's a, a piece of my drum set uh, which is uh, my, dun my drum set is dotted around the flat uh, up on the walls we have my new set of acoustic treatments uh, you'd think this is maybe RLX, but it's not RLX. It's made by a British-based, uh, Britain-based company. Uh, and really, to be honest, this is as good as RLX. It's a lot cheaper than RLX, but I tell you what, it really does a terrific job with the acoustics in this room because this room is a rectangle, and rectangles have nice flat surfaces, and sound bounces around off of those. Um, but really these panels do a great job and at the back there I have some beautiful red curtains which is with that light just provides a nice sort of mellow atmosphere so there you have it that's uh, the Johnny Lipson Studios I'm just backing out the doorway so there you have it I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you found it useful and informative this is where the action takes place uh, Please go and visit uh, johnnylipsonstudios.co.uk uh, for more stuff on what we do here. Uh, and we will check you out and see you again soon on another video. Take care now.